Hello world, welcome to Edupedia world. So in this video, we will have the answer key for the assessment of computer sciences. It is for grade 8. The time given for this assessment was 20 minutes and the total marks graded would be 30 marks. So first of all, let's have a look at the answers of the blanks. There are two ways to declare a variable. Then the blank number two is basic stands for beginners all purpose symbolic instruction code. Blank number three is the concatenation operator in basic is the plus sign. There are three kinds of logical operators blank number five is amongst all these given symbols the colon is the separator sign to print multiple values at a time blank number six smallest computational unit is called bit Blank number 7 is intelligent device which converts the protocol as well is called gateway. Blank number 8 is encoding digital information in the form of analog carrier signals or sine waves is called modulation. The answer for blank number 9 is local or restricted private network is called intranet blank number eight would be filled by hypertext transfer protocol which is a stateless protocol blank number 11 is shortcut key to cut the selected text or object in microsoft word is control plus x so if all these blanks are correct you would be given 11 marks So now we have a question to label the following physical components or hardware of the computer. We have the devices with the labels, the 10 labels are given and we just have to name the, these 10 devices which are labeled the numbers. So at number 1 we have the monitor, at label number 2 we have the motherboard, at label number 3 we have central processing unit at label number four we have random access memory at label number five we have the expansion cards for the memory at label number six we have the power supply at label number seven it is the optical disk drive at label number eight comes the hard disk drive at label number 9, we have the keyboard and finally at label number 10, we have mouse. At number 1, you have the picture of a monitor. Number 2 is the motherboard. Number 3 is central processing unit. At label 4, we have random access memory. At number 5, we have expansion cards. At number 6, we have the power supply. At number 7, we have optical disk drive. At number 8, comes hard disk drive. At number 9, we have the keyboard. And at number 10, we have mouse. Then question comes to convert the following binary numbers to decimal number system. So the formula is there to convert the binary number to decimal number system just by using the 2 raised to the power of the given position of the binary number. So in this way, we have decimal numbers 85 and 28 for the given binary numbers. Then comes the question to convert the following decimal numbers to the binary number system. Again, by using the 2 raised to the power formula, 
by making 9 we have the equivalent binary bits which gives us these decimal numbers. Then the last question is write a program to find the area of a rectangle by using if then structure. The program will have to prompt for the values and display the output as well where the formula to find the area of a rectangle is area is equal to length into width or you can say A is equal to LW where L stands for the length of the rectangle and W stands for the width of the rectangle and the multiplication of them both the length as well as the width gives us the area of the rectangle. So let's see how we will write a program for it. First of all, we have to print what for the values as we have to give the input ourselves like what is the length of the rectangle input say L would be taken. Then we have a condition just to end our program like if L is equal to 0 then 90. It simply means if the length 0 is given then our program will come to the end. Then we will have to prompt for the width of the rectangle. So we have to print the line what is the width of the rectangle. The input width would be taken. Then comes our formula let a is equal to L into W. So the product of the length and the width would be assigned to the variable A which is our area of the rectangle. So first of all we will print length, width and area of the rectangle and then comes the desired results and then is the end of the program. So we have to tell them the output as well. So the output of this program while running would be first of all it will prompt for what is the length of the rectangle. The input will be given. If it is given 0 the program will come to an end and will be closed. Then the width of the rectangle would be prompted. Then the width would be given. So at the last we will have length, width and area of the rectangle which is our desired result. So this is it. If you have given the right answers for all the questions you would be graded full marks. Thank you for watching a video on Edupedia World.